All right, so welcome back to Deliver Coding. In today's video, we're going to do React form validation with React Hooks form. And here's what the demo look like. So in here, we have three input. So with username, email, and password. So right now, if I try to submit this one, as you can see, all of this is a require, and then we need to fill that. So right now, I'm gonna fill this one. I'm gonna give my name. And the email, this one, I'm gonna give this one uh, like the wrong email, so to check that. And then the password, I'm gonna give only uh, to four. So when I submit again, so you can see the username here is the message is gone and I need to do it with this one. So I'm going to give this a valid email and then I'm going to get this one fine. Okay. So when I do that, it's going to have this object right here so that you can uh, push this one to your backend or to your Firebase. All right. So let's get started. Alright, so here I'm using VS Code, so you can use any tech that you want. And this is just a boilerplate from Create React App. So at the moment, we have only the hello world, uh, hello right here. And also I have to uh, do some styling beforehand. So this is just the stylings for our, that we're going to need. And the first thing first that you need to do, you need to install the this three dependency that we're going to use. The first one is uh, React Hooks form. And the second is the React Hook Forms uh, Solver. I'll list uh, this one in the description. You can go ahead and install this one, this three de de dependency. And I have already installed that. So, all right. So back into our app.js, I'm going to change this one to React uh, Hooks Form. I'm going to create the form for this one. So what I'm going to do is the form. And then let's see. So next, I'm going to have the uh, a div right here. We're gonna have the paragraph that so then it's gonna this the, the lab right here is gonna uh, display as uh, blocks. So I'm gonna give a usernames, and then which is gonna be exactly the same thing, which is I'm gonna give for the input. So which is the yep, all right, the input and where you right now you can see. Um, so we're gonna have three of that. So it's it pretty much it's exact exactly the same things. So what I'm going to do is to create the content so then we can uh, loop this one. So in here, I'm going to create a folder called, uh, let's say, statics. And then I'm going to do the index.js. So cons, content, so it's going to be, I'm going to create this in objects. Uh, we're going to have an array of this one. It's going to have the labels. Uh, it's going to be usernames. And then the name is going to be um, username as well. This one is going to go with the uppercase. All right, so we can have the multiple form we want. So, so now I'm going to just uh, pass only two of this one. So, okay. So next I'm going to do export content. Uh, export the default content. Great. All right, so then we're going to use it right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do content. So it's going to auto import for me. I have input. So then we have to map this one. We need we have the input and the key for it, which is the index for and then which we're gonna use for the key of this uh, guy right here. We're gonna cut and paste right here. So I'm gonna give the key is equal to key. And this one is gonna be the input dot um, labels. And also this one is gonna have a name uh, which is gonna be input dot labels. As well, so um, let's see. No, no, no. I put not like that. Input dot name. Okay. So now we have this guy, which is nice. And next, are we gonna have the buttons? Uh, let's gonna go with submit. So I'm gonna give this class name of um. Let's see. So this one is gonna have the class name of labels. And then this one is gonna have a class name of input, which I have already do that. So let's see, yeah, we have the message. I, actually, we don't have the labels. Um, then we're gonna do with this, with the class name of the apps. So then we can put everything to the center. All right, great. Uh, last but not least is BTN right here. So this one, we don't have class name for you. And I'm gonna remove you. Okay, so this is, this is it. So right now, um, this one, I'm gonna give the type of this one is going to be the text uh, submit not text and i forgot to give the type of this guy as well so i'm going to give the type it's going to be the text and this one is type is going to be password 
Okay. So now, and then I'm gonna give the type. Is it gonna be equal to input dot types? And for the password, so we can this one. Nice. So next, we're gonna use the uh, React hook form. It's really simple. So what I'm gonna do is doing this one is equal to use form, which is come from the React hook form right here. So we're gonna have the uh, object that we're gonna use. The first one is gonna be register. So this is like a method uh, that we're gonna do uh, that come out from this one. Now we're gonna have handle submit and error this one. If you wonder where this one, you can check out in the documentation. And so to with form, it's really simple. You don't have to do with on chain or anything. So what you need to do is you're gonna give the reference of this one with the register. So this one need to be called register because it's an object. You can cannot call this one anything. There's another object called controller as well. But right now uh, we're gonna do with register. And for the form when we do submit, so we're gonna do handle. So we're gonna do on submit. It's gonna be equal to um, handle submit. So handle, and then we're gonna do on submit. Actually, this we don't have to do this one. So we just do this. So this is we're gonna create our customs, uh, our submit on submit right here. So then we're gonna have the data, and then we can just console that locks the data. All right, so right now, okay, nope. So if I do this, and when I click in here, when I type give me information, so in the click, and there we go. So we do not see anything. So what is the reason why we do not see anything? Um, let's see. So right now, I need to refresh the page again. So. Voila, so right now we can see that we have an object so we can get this one So but we not do any validation just yet. So to do the validations uh, What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the another two package that I just told you which is this one and this one So if you go in here when we scroll down, this is that's why we need the yap right here What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy and paste this one And I'm gonna paste right here so this is just a schema of the our form. So we need to match with our name. So let's say I'm gonna remove this one. And let's see. So one thing that we need to do is that we need to have the resolver with the we're gonna use Yap resolver. All right, cool. So this is gonna be a schema of our form that we're gonna do the validation. So the first one is gonna be a usernames. It need to match. If you use the username, this one need to be username as well. So it's gonna be yups dot, um, let's say what type of that is gonna be string. Is it require or not? If it require, just put require. And then we're gonna have the password. Uh, let's see, password is gonna be yup dot, it's gonna be string as well. Is it require? Yes, it is. And then we're gonna have the min minimum of this one is gonna be five. So then we can show the minimum of this one. Um, all right, so this is this is it for our schema, and, and then this one need as a function, so we're gonna pass the schema into here, so then uh, the use form know that this is the schema of our form. So then uh, we're gonna have the message below this one to display to display what's been wrong. So for that, we're gonna we're gonna use the error from this uh, use form right here. You can see. Um, so I'm gonna scroll this one down, so we're gonna have the error. So we need to give the object of that. So right now I can display uh, error first. Console.log error for you when we doing this one. All right, so now here you need to refresh it. So when you refresh it, so you can see right now we have zero error. So when I try to submit, uh, there's an error. So we can have an object that with the key or password and uh, with the name, uh, username, which has come from our schema, and then we have the message right here. So um, the way that we're gonna do that, we're gonna display this one by using the errors dot, uh, we, because we don't have, this one is gonna be loop, so we're gonna get it from the input's name, inputs named, and then we're gonna do uh, dot uh, message. So this is gonna, if we go back in here, if we refresh, it's gonna fail uh, because right now the 
the error message right here doesn't have this key and then we try to access this one uh, with the message so um, this because it's null so we need to the uh, null exception so to do that we can just uh, put a question mark right here so this is the exception if uh, we have this one we're gonna show L is, is, is do nothing for this one it's just null safety for this one all right so right now if I refresh it's oh, everything is okay and then when I type this one so right now when I try to submit again as you can see we have the message from the error all right so that's pretty cool and so then I have already style out one as well I'm gonna give a class name so class name uh, let's see I think it's gonna be message yeah uh, let's go back in here with the messages we're gonna have the just uh, color right here nice uh, I think that pretty much it so next is we if you want to have the another form it's really simple right so you can go in here you can just do another one let's say what you want to do with emails and then uh, name is gonna be email and the type is gonna be emails right now I think it should be order so then email it should be below there we go so now we have another email and to validate email is exactly the same thing you go into the schema you add what you want so this one doesn't need to require uh, any order so uh, the order is just I want to have the email in here all right so now uh, I'm gonna go with email so it's need to match make sure the password the object right here need to match this name from here so yep so then we're gonna do yup uh, dot what email is gonna be string then it's gonna be require and then it's gonna be email type is gonna be email and one thing is that you can actually uh, custom your own messages let's say require right here uh, you can do like please uh, enter emails uh, like this one as well so right now when I try to submit I need to refresh this one so it's not good so as you can see right now please uh, enter email which is uh, our custom message so you can override that one as well and I think that pretty much it so the last thing I think not the last thing I'm gonna remove this one so now let's say I'm gonna type everything is good so I'm gonna give the email and I'm gonna give the password uh, let's say four of this so let's see I think ah, I forgot to refresh so we need to refresh every time so this one one two three four so then it's gonna be an error because we at least five so I'm gonna give five so this one as you can see we have an object this one so then you can use this one to fire to your back end so it's really uh, simple and really fast to do the form instead of we used to listen to on chain I think that's also another approach as well so this is another approach that you can do and you can look out more on this one and then you uh, and the documentation is really uh, useful and it's really easy to understand as well all right I think that's pretty much it for this video and all right see you guys in the next video peace